me and Eric Reed were carrying the torch for Colin Kaepernick, and uh, and they and they told us not to take a knee anymore. And I told him, man, f that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna take a knee. And I knew when we played the uh, the Rams, L.A. Rams, at that last game, when it was like every time we took a knee, it was probably like ten to fifteen cameras. And then that last game, when they told us not to, it was about two hundred cameras. Me, Eric Reed, and uh, Marquise Godwin. Yeah. And then they got us all out of there. Well, <laughs> and, and it was they crazy because all of that, that was going on when that was going on i always wondered the guys who was in that that were not colin Kaepernick. Because colin kaepernick was the one that was out in the front but you guys became collateral damage yeah. the, the eric reeds of the world you know the marquis Godwins and yourself let me ask you a question how how did it make you feel after all of that went down that movement kind of went nowhere and it kind of was almost commercialized in a yeah. sense yeah uh well one for me i stood on principles i stood like i grew up if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything um even you know people in close to my family was like man don't do it you know what i'm saying don't don't do it no more it, it was they divided and conquered us dog because if you really look at the timetable malcolm jenkins yep yeah malcolm jenkins and mm-hmm. Colin kaepernick were like you know, they put them, they made them in opposition. And yeah, it's like Dr. King and Malcolm X almost. Yeah. 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 Man. So what happened was, if you remember, it was around Thanksgiving time. I remember being on calls with Colin Kaepernick, me, Eric Reed. We in the hot tub, reading emails together. You know what I'm saying? I'm helping the young bull. Uh, I'm t- listening to Colin Kaepernick. But Colin's not giving us a plan. And like my thing is, you gotta have a plan, dog. Like, what's the plan? Like, we taking a knee, yeah. but what is your plan? Yeah. He never really could. Like, he never discussed his plan. And that's what kind of made it fishy. And then, and then Malcolm Jenkins had a plan, but the plan with with the with the social injustice, with you know them using money to give the social injustice. It was him saying that, man, it's, it's $90 million over 10 years. And I was like, bro, that's not enough. Like, $90 million can't help L.A., New Orleans, Tampa, Oakland, Vegas, Houston. Like, yeah. bro, like what? Like, what you going to give? $2 million per city? Like, what that's going to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to need to be $90 million per city. Yeah. If we talking real change, like you know what I'm saying, no, we're I, I, bro, real change. You talking like, facts? You know what I'm saying. So, so that's where my argument came in. That was like, I don't care what we do with the money. Well, I do care what we do with the money, but I mean, we need to form programs. We need to do all this social injustice stuff, voting, uh, you know, after school programs, all of that. You know, uh, police education, interaction education, all these things need to be done. But ninety million not going to cut it. Uh, yeah. Malcolm Jenkins took the deal. He came out and he said that he's not taking the knee anymore. I remember that. The next week, the next week, Roger Goodell got a two hundred and fifty million dollar deal because his only his only thing was to, was to get the and maybe I might never be able to be banned or whatever. But his only thing was was to uh, make sure the players stopped taking the knee. Yeah. By all oh, costs, right. Bro, that's facts. Make sure players stop to me. So yeah, then you, when you, you got Malcolm, when you got Malcolm Jenkins to come out and say, "Hey, we're not taking the knee anymore," they got a ten-year, ninety million dollar deal, which I I had to separate Eric Reed and Malcolm Jenkins in Vegas. At, and, 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 and mind you, y'all blackballed at this point. After that, like you, you and Eric Reed, like it's it's over with. It's cookies at that point. So yeah, now, like, now mind you, now think about this. Roger, and this is all documented facts. If you go look, Roger Goodell got a $250, $250 million dollar deal a week after mm-hmm. that with a private plane, and he gave us ninety. He got two fifty for himself. So now I'm like, damn! I knew I knew I was right, bro. Ninety million wasn't enough over ten years because it was like two million in the first year, four million in the second year, four yeah. million in the third year. It was backloaded deal. Then 
I'm going to say this and I'm going to be quiet. Then the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl. 